I grab it here? Yep, some um, sponsorship offers have been dropping into the channel and I actually um, ended up declining what has already come in, so, so I thought I'd make a video about it and to explain why I've done this. Um, I've created some self-defined um, rules for um, sponsorships and cooperations and in, in most cases they broke one or two of the um, yeah, self-made rules on the list. So I just thought maybe go through those points um, if they would be of general interest to, to the YouTube community. Anyway, disclaimer, I'm not a contract lawyer and what I'm giving is not legal advice and the points I bring up are just um, purely my own personal opinions. So, anyway, let's get into it. Anyway, first and foremost, of course, any kind of um, Sponsorship or cooperation um, has to add value to the channel. The other option is that it, um, it will be of general interest to the current viewer base. And a typical example of this that you're making a um, you have a channel that has a topic of um, metalworking, and then you have a sponsorship from a VPN provider. And then, then one can argue that it's basically the the sponsorship has nothing to do with what you're doing, but um, on the other hand, your current viewer base might be interested in picking up a VPN. It's the same with you know, products like coffee or or food and stuff. Um, so, a little bit about this. Um, I mean, I have a rule that um, content scope and schedule planning it should be of the discre at the discretion of the creator, um, so you, you shouldn't be forced into a specific schedule. Uh, also, there shouldn't be any um, forced content types or targets. Like if you are you primarily YouTube um, based, then you shouldn't be forced to create shorts or live sessions just for the sponsorship uh, or uh, commit to um, posting on other social media platforms that you're not currently on and also I'd look look a little bit dimly at forced performance requirements for example the minimum number of views watch time subscriber counts likes so I think that they yeah shouldn't really be forced to run off to certain um, goals just for the sponsorship sake of the sponsorship uh, the ownership of the content created should remain with the creator, if, if of course uh, not otherwise licensed on social media. So of course you have licensing when you um, when you actually um, publish it on social media. Then you have the small text that says to what kind of license covers it. But I I, I don't like those kind of contracts where one, or sponsorships or cooperations where one should actually hand over ownership of the um, product that one has created. Um, I don't like the idea of previews um, of content prior to publishing. I think they should trust the creator to do a good job and um, include their sponsorship um, in that context in one way or the other in an acceptable fashion. So I, I, d I don't do previews of content. Uh, all opinions will be that of the creator, so I don't think the sponsor should um, limit or restrict or otherwise define the type of content that one is creating, or the opinions one is giving during the creation of the content. And um, I like to be able to, if I get into a sponsorship or cooperation, then I always like, would um, I actually demand the right to always clearly state the content was, uh, that um, was specific products or services have been sponsored. So that it's very clear for the viewer that okay, this specific, yeah, this specific product or service was the object of the sponsor of an external sponsor. I think it's okay if the sponsors provide pictures, audio, video material, but um, how it's included in the um, product, it should be up to the creator. 
uh, I think it's also good to have a, have an, a possibility to discontinue cooperating with the sponsor if um, if it doesn't seem to be working out. Um, if it's not actually separately agreed upon, then one should be able to terminate the cooperation immediately. Uh, and uh, also think it's important that if the um, cooperation or sponsorship requires to use specific um, content or create specific content, uh, that it actually has to be um, suitable for the social media platform in question, so it, it's not allowed to break um, like YouTube rules or other social media platform rules. Um, uh, and it should be an option to automatically discard such requests. Then, yeah, the, 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 um, it's always interesting when uh, upcoming sponsors or something they say they will give you free products or services. And um, the, the, the problem with that, from uh, at least in our, our region, there, there is no such thing as free. Um, basically, there's some, um, there are, everything has a value. A product or a service delivered to an individual or a company has a value from a taxation perspective, and you need to keep an eye on the value. So, if the in, in our region, um, on, a, on a yeah yearly basis, you can basically transact between one to two thousand dollars worth of um, transactions without it being considered automatically a um, a corporate. So that you don't do not automatically be considered a corporate entity and have to um, take the liabilities associated with that. So a little bit of careful thing. <laughs> if some somebody sends you a a free car, you might actually end up end up paying quite a lot of money to the tax authorities at a later date. So one, one has to be yeah one one has to actually consider that any, anything you get. In terms of products or services from a um, uh, yeah from a sponsor or a cooperation deal is is actually has a monetary value. You just have to keep a track of it on it based on your own local rules. And then and then there are sponsors that reach out to you and then they actually suggest that you should um, you should join in testing the product or or. Um, you know, you you should participating in further development of the product. Um, yeah, well, I don't consider that um, content creation. I don't consider that. Um, it's it, the, both of those items are basically engineering consultancy, and and you know, as an engineer myself, I don't do engineering consultancy for free. Then um, no, that's a completely separate item to discuss if such things. Are needed, and, and and that is not sponsorship. That is just di directly taking, um, uh, yeah, w work. I mean, for what? I mean, it's it's engine it's engine it's engineering consultancy that they want. And, and so that means that they're not sponsoring you. They're asking you to do their work. So no, I just totally flatly deny that stuff. And then uh, one of the items for those that are not full-time YouTubers one has to always consider is that there's no conflict of interest with the day job. Um, in certain jurisdictions there are rules and regulations uh, in, the, um, in, in your contract with your em uh, day employer that will stipulate what you can and cannot do outside of normal working hours. So that, that's a good thing to keep in, in mind. Um, yeah. As I said, I haven't got anything against sponsorships or corporations. Uh, I just don't think that they they have to be within certain guidelines that I have myself set up um, based on discussions with others and watching countless videos like many other people have done. And um, I will, um, of course, these are guidelines. Things can uh, change based on what kind of a deal is on 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 the table. So, but. Um, yeah, I, I I would sooner keep my creator 
independence than tie myself up into some kind of endless yeah, into 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 the into corporations or sponsorships that that don't make any sense for my channel or or the idea of developing this channel. So anyway, if you thought this was useful, um, that's a short rundown. But then um, consider hitting the like button. If you'd like to get similar and other type of content, then consider subscribing. If you'd like to buy me a cup of coffee for making this video, that would be great. The link's in the description. Merch is also available. And um, as usual, I'll see you in the next one.